Rodman, you had Pippen, you had Kobe Bryant. But let me tell you something. You still have to coach. And you still have to drop the plays, the offense, the defense. You have to manage all those personalities, manage the game. And in the NBA, manage the last two minutes of the game as well. One of the great all-time coach ever. Coming from the University of North Dakota. And over the back call, we give it to the Ducks. So far in this early season, keep in mind, the Ducks 5-0 and so far this year. They've had much better offensive output in the second half than they have in the first half. As now, Dana Altman and Brian Jones, head coaches, one of the officials to meet here, Ernie, and talk about what they saw. But overall, in the second half, as this gets overturned, we'll go to North Dakota. The Ducks averaging just over 50 points a game in the second half, that is. In the first half, about 35. They've been a much better second-half team after intermission. I think the, the issue here is whether or not he had control of ball when he went into the backcourt from the inbound to the backcourt. So, Brian Jones had his argument. Dana Altman had his argument. And the officials came together, and they gave Raw to... North Dakota. So here you see a little pressure once again after the ball for the Ducks. Again, this is not hard trapping pressure. It's more of take time off the clock pressure, and then they go back to either the man to man or they go to their two three zone. They do a lot of switching, a lot of rotating, and they do a lot of covering with those. What I call very long arm athletic basketball players that can take a lot of space. And there you see the Ducks in zone as they force the travel. And yesterday in North Dakota's game versus Cal Poly, the Mustangs ran all over them 70 to 43. They were in that 2 3 zone almost all game long and gave North Dakota some major fits. Well, the thing about the zone, it gives an opportunity to run out of it as well because they're already in the rebound spot. So any misses, it gives you a chance to out in great transition. Mosier barely nicks the iron out of three. Jumper and a top mark that time from Quinn Hooker. <laughs> Joseph Young controls, no hands off. That is Jason Calise, the new senior transfer from Detroit. A pass underneath and it will go to North Dakota. Very difficult to be on one direction and pass back across your body. Play football when a quarterback's going one direction is going to throw back across his body. You're taught not to do that in football. You're taught not to do it in basketball. And Khalid got hung up in the air. They're running their five game, which is a lot of ball screen on ball screens. And that time, he penetrated to make a bad decision. And that clock just speeds up, especially when you leave the air. Not much time to figure out what you want to do with it. Meanwhile, Dotson heads to the bench. As Jonathan Lloyd comes back out of the court. You can see out of the zone, they're very quick, the shooters. They don't get caught any open looks. And they're going to make him force and earn everything he gets. So he's oh. had a rough turn. Really has yesterday only six points. And keep in mind that he was one of the best scorers in the country entering the tournament. Last year led the Big Guy Conference with their scoring champ averaging just... 20 points again. Oh, the ball. But the finish underneath Richard Amarty. Cross court into the corner. Jamal Webb, fourth all time assist leader in school history for North Dakota. No good rebound, back down by Amarty the other end. Here is Young. Flashing underneath off the glass. Pretty kick there by Jonathan Lloyd. Coach Jones is going to time out because let me tell you, this is what Oregon's doing. They are sitting in that zone and shutting down North Dakota and then running in transition. And they have great athleticism on the west side. You have